Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of how to build a ferry's wheel in Minecraft. This tutorial will again be very easy to follow and you will have finished this second part soon. If you're building this with me, be sure to let me know on Twitter. Alright guys, are you ready? Let's get into it. Here we go. So what you want to do now is clear out your inventory and we're gonna get the um, construction started where the ferris wheel is going to be supported by. So because like this it is floating in the air and that is obviously not what we want right. Make it go out by one. What you gotta do now is grab your quartz, slab, block, and stair. Alright. What you wanna do is place two place one block of quartz right there, place a stair on top of it, and place another stair like that. You're gonna add a slab underneath you're going to add two blocks of quartz right there mm, let me take a look you're gonna add two quartz blocks right there and right there um right now you're gonna add a stair right here and right here and you're gonna add slabs on top of it same for this side, you're gonna add stairs, um, even more stairs right here, same on this side, of course, stairs and stairs. Um, wait, apparently, of course, like this. So, right now it looks something like that. What you're gonna do now is place upside down stairs here. And right now it looks something like this. I hope you guys can follow along. What you gotta do right now is place some quartz blocks right here. Place some more here. And make this curve like that. So right now I'm gonna say I'm only gonna work on this arm. And then I will just make the other arm off camera. So, right now we do have two stairs going on here. Now you're gonna add a full row of blocks. Again, stair. Again, a row of blocks and stairs. Now, this needs to be a little bit, not much, but it needs to be a little bit thicker. So what you're gonna do is, wherever you placed um, stairs, on the opposite side, you're gonna have stairs as well, but you're gonna have them facing upwards. So that is going to create a nice support beam going on like this. And that is what you need. And you're just gonna continue doing that. So full block, stair full block, stair, and same on the other side, wherever there is a stair upside down, you're gonna place it in the other direction, here we go, so I'm going to finish this off, off camera to save you guys some time until we reach the ground, alright, so I finished one support beam, and I want to show you guys how I have made the bit here. So what you gotta do is um, add four blocks of quartz. You're gonna finish this off with um, stairs right there. And now to make it look a little bit more detailed, you're gonna have um, this a little bit thicker on the ground level. And that actually 
allows you to have um, some more detail. So what you gotta do is um, from here you're gonna place a block, two, two stairs like that. And I suggest doing the same on the other side as well. Um, let's see here. Alright, looks like that. And now let's go ahead and make the other beam on that side as well and also here on the back. So I will make this a little bit thicker as I've showed you, like this. And then around there I will add the um, support beams. So I will go ahead and finish that off. I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, I have finished all pillars on both sides and now this gave me the possibility to add something such as a side panel that you can see right here which says Dreamville which is the name of my team park. So that is something you can add but I'm not going to show you how I did it. It is self-explanatory. So yeah, it's pretty easy to make. Um, I suggest using another name of course, so it's up to you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the materials we will use for the cabins. We will use quartz slab, block of quartz, grey, glass, uh, colossum wall, carpet, sea lantern, acacia door, birch wood stairs, and that's gonna be it. So I suggest grab those materials and we will get started. And so, for our cabin, we're gonna need a little bit of light. So that's why I've just added that sea lantern right there. You get, you're gonna add four full quartz blocks, slabs on the in the corners, and um, now you're gonna take out your glass. Um, you're gonna make it two blocks high, and your door is a little bit special because there, of course, the glass is only going to be one block high. So this is getting a nice shape. So as I just said here, leave it because the door is going to be here soon. What you want to do now is take out your quartz blocks again and place them along like this. Um, what you want to do now is take out quartz slab, place it inside of your cabin. And we will furnish this cabin, of course. And you're gonna add in this door. I've chosen this door because it looks very nice since it's made out of glass. And apparently I forgot to take out my birch wood stairs. So let's go ahead and place them. Like this. And if you want to, you can even add a bit of carpet in here. All right. Looks absolutely epic, right? I mean, guys, look at this. Isn't this amazing? I mean, personally, I don't want to be egoistic, but I think this is the best Ferris wheel you can actually find on YouTube. So, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and of course make some more cabins because of course we only have one but we need quite a lot more of them so I'm gonna finish that off right now off camera as you can see all the cabins have been placed and it looks absolutely amazing if you want to see how this looks at night be sure to check out the start of the video where I've showed you that and now let's go ahead and add some more stuff on the ground. Some wedding lines and stuff like that. If you want, you could stop the tutorial right now, but I'm also going to add um, a control room and um, a nice waiting queue line. So what we're gonna do is remove those blocks and um, let's lay out the foundations here first of all. It's not gonna be something large, but 
we're gonna have it. And that is what counts. I like that. Um, what you wanna do is um, place those bricks. Let's say um, three blocks high, four blocks high maybe. Well, let's keep it at three. Yeah, let's keep it at three. Make it three blocks here, three blocks like that. You're gonna have it. A uh, small overhang right there. Mm. Yeah, let's get rid of those. Um, here we're gonna have a door. For, that's for sure. Let's have the door right here, and let's have a small window here. Mm. All right, we're almost there. Here on the back, let's just fill it all up. Like that. Same over here, uh, small window. So what you want to do for uh, those small windows is um, take glass pane. Let's use um, light gray glass pane, and you're gonna place it right here, and you're gonna add a trapdoor right there. And I know it looks a bit special but I kind of like it something like that I don't know um, let's see here mm. let's grab that trapdoor again here we go yeah let's have something like that it's gonna be really small but it's gonna work out great mm. Alright, now let's give this a bit more um, detail. Mm, let's see. Hmm, this is tricky. White there and white here, probably. Alright, we're gonna fill this up. And it's gonna look pretty cool, I guess. Although, I should make it higher. Yeah, I'm gonna make it higher. So, let's get, a, let's get rid of this. Make this one block higher. Place white, green, white, and green. And now, let's just fill this in like that and create a nice shape. Alright, that is pretty cool in my opinion. Now let's go ahead and add in a door. Also, let's have a flooring in here, of course. Here we go. Let's use um, birchwood. Let's fill it in like this. Now we need a small roof, I think. So let's make it one block higher. Mm. Yeah, and you're not gonna have it like um, you're only gonna have it this high at this uh, side. So what you want to do is um, we're gonna make it a bit going upwards, so it's gonna look something like this, which is kind of cool, I think, in my opinion. Um, maybe. Let's just have it go down here again. Yep. Like that. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but we need to make sure the ferris wheel doesn't get hit. So... Let's just have a stair on the deck. Like this. Alright, that is fixed. So... Place those stairs. Here we go. Fill this in and we are done with the roof. Now one small thing, we're gonna add in some stairs. And then we are done to be honest. Um, like one here maybe and one there. 
Uh, maybe a door right here would be pretty useful. Let's use um, this type of door. Maybe have it right here. And finally, um, what we should add is, of course, this needs to be fixed. And here we're going to place down our levers. And all right, this is finished. Now here I'm going to add like an item frame map. And if you don't know what an item frame map is, well, I'll show you. It is really cool looking. So we're going to have a no entry sign right here. And if you're like, whoa, this is really cool. Well, I suggest watching the tutorial that pop will pop on your screen right now. Click the eye. And also you can check out the link in the description in order to have this on your own world. You can install it using World Edit plugin or MC Edit. But well, we're almost done here. I'm just gonna add um, a little bit more uh, details. So let's go ahead and uh, take um, gloss paints. Let's use white ones combined with iron bars and um, let's say we're gonna have we're gonna make a waiting line so in between here that's for sure and um, let's have it right here um, I don't know something like this maybe uh, make it curve to go around right there you don't have to do this, but it is going to look fairly cool, I think, when you have it. So, all right, here we go. I will do the same on the other side as well, but I will do that off camera. So yeah, well, let's go ahead and do that. Well, I finished that queue line, that waiting line, and now we can finally say that our ferris wheel is 100% finished. And it looks absolutely amazing, right? Well, guys, one more time, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you pulled this with me, be sure to let me know on Twitter. It makes me really happy. So, I want to say one more time, thanks for watching. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.